this is Katie from Thayer Treats and welcome to Katie's Kitchen. I am going to show you how to make a simple soft American buttercream and we're going to do a smaller recipe today. This one is very easily doubled or even tripled. I wouldn't do much more than tripled though in a standard KitchenAid mixer because of the fact that it will be too much for there. But let's start. We're going to start with two sticks of butter right into your KitchenAid mixer or a hand mixer if that is all that you have. It will take a little bit more time with a hand mixer. We do that, we're gonna do the paddle attachment and now we're going to let that beat for five to seven minutes until it's lighter in color and about doubled in size and I'll show you what that looks like. And this is about the color and consistency that you want the butter to be. It's doubled in size and it is a nice white color. Now I'm gonna scrape down the sides all around and this is a super important step. Don't skip this step. You want all of the butter to get mixed in thoroughly with the next step, which is powdered sugar. A little trick with the butter is take your sticks of butter out the night before. Put them on your counter if you're going to use them. You want them to be soft, not melted, but soft enough that if you take your finger and push on the stick of butter, your finger can easily go all the way down to the bottom of the stick. Now, let's add in the powdered sugar. And we are going to do 500 grams or about four and a half cups of powdered sugar. We are going to put this in in three installments. So let's start with one cup. And we will mix it on low until it's mixed in. I have here about one fourth a cup of cream or 50 grams, a teaspoon of vanilla and a pinch of salt. I'm going to stick this in the microwave for 15 seconds while I add in the next two batches of powdered sugar. And then we will add the cream in as well. All right, now let's add in our second installment of powdered sugar. And now, one more cup. And we will probably add in about half a cup more after this. Perfect, last half a cup here and then we're going to add in our cream. Now we're going to add in our cream, vanilla, and salt very slowly while this is mixing. And then I'm going to scrape down the sides and let it beat for two minutes. There we go. We'll let that mix together before I scrape down the sides. Good, now let's scrape it down. And if yours is thick, feel free to take more cream, heat it up and add to it. You can add up to 30 to 40 more grams or just under 1 fourth a cup more cream. And mine is pretty thick today. I'm gonna let it beat for a minute and see if I like it, but I might add a little bit more cream. There we go. Have that all straight down, and let's start beating this. And that's a perfect consistency. I'm not going to add any more cream to this. So now, we're going to put this off to the side and let it beat for a good three, four minutes before I scrape it down and do it one more minute on low. Okay, now I'm gonna scrape this down and then I will talk about coloring your buttercream. You can stick with it being white like this right now, but if you're wanting to make a book cover, you're going to probably want a few different colors of buttercream. So I'll show you how to take a little bit of this buttercream out and then mix it by hand to add a little bit of color to it. 
but this buttercream is a beautiful consistency right now. Take a look at that. And I'm gonna just beat it on low for about one minute just to get any air bubbles out of it so it's nice and smooth. There we go, buttercream is done. Now I'm going to take a little bit of them and put them in two bowls and show you two different techniques of coloring buttercream. So the first technique and the easiest one I'm gonna go with is a gel food color. This one is called Royal Blue by Cella Bakes. You can get any gel food color on Amazon or also at Now You're Cooking. They have the Wilton brand. I love the Cella Bakes brand, but Wilton works great too. You do not need a lot of this, maybe one or two drops. The gel color is a very highly concentrated color and it will color your stuff fast. So let's do a drop and see what this looks like. You're going to beat it against the side of your bowl. And there we go. That is how quickly it can color your icing. And we have a nice, beautiful, royal blue color. Now, I want to show you one of my favorites. Now I'm gonna show you another one. This is turquoise water from the Sugar Art. This is a food dye powder, and you need very, very little of this to get a great color. For buttercreams, I would recommend the Master Elite line. They're relatively cheap. As you can see, just the tip of your knife needs to have just the tiniest bit of food dye on it. I'm going to activate it in a little bit of water and pour just a little bit of that onto the buttercream and start mixing. And once again, beat your buttercream off to the side of the bowl to get the most consistent color and to quickly incorporate it in. And there we go. Turquoise water and royal blue. How quick and easy was that? You can dye your buttercreams any color that you want for any of your baking needs. I'm going to stick with these colors for now, but for my book cover that we're going to do at the library, I will put out a list of what colors I'm going to use for that particular book cover. All right, now to wrap this buttercream lesson up, let's talk about storing our buttercream. If you're going to be using your buttercream that day, you can take it, put it in a container. I love these glass containers because it really helps to seal it in. You can even put it in your piping bag beforehand if you want it, if you're using it that day. If you're using it that day, you can keep it on the counter or at room temperature. If you're going to be using it in a few days or you have leftover frosting, you do not need to throw the frosting away. Instead, pop it in a container, put a lid on it, and put it in the refrigerator for up to two weeks or the freezer for up to two months. When you want to use it, bring it out, leave it on your counter for a few hours to bring it to room temperature and just re-whip it in your bowl with a paddle attachment until it is the consistency that you want to use it. So if you have any questions, comment below or reach out to me. I'm Katie Thayer from Thayer's Treats. You can find me on Instagram or Facebook and I would love to answer any questions that you have. So I look forward to seeing what creations you make with your American buttercream.